What's going on, family? Man, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Man, we got a special treat for you guys today, man. We are at... Uh, give me a second, man. I, I'll show y'all after this intro. Yeah. What's going on family man i hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day man make sure you guys go hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button because i am about to bring you guys a banger so if you see behind me we are at the glen view luxury imports with lotus maserati and the alpha 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 you welcome you you, you welcome maybe you, you welcome but here you are here to see the unveiling of the new Lotus Electra, but before we get into that, I have something else I want to show you guys. So, you know, this room there's a ton of beautiful, 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 beautiful cars. And there is a look at this guy. This heat on this beautiful ass thing. It's the Martin doing your ass before the boat. Take away the dealership. This is what you can expect, right? So, over here. They laid it out for us. We got an Alpha over here. We got Lotus over here. We got some more um, Aston Martins sitting on this floor. And man, look at this beautiful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Ferrari. Oh my God. We're going to try to talk over this topic right so we don't get pink. But listen, this thing is beautiful. It's roped off, so we're going to be respectful. Trying to get our butt in trouble or kicked out of this place. Yeah, so it's beautiful, beautiful Aston Martin. I just think they are absolutely beautiful, guys. These are some works of art in my book. Over here, we have some Maseratis. Probably a little bit of everything. I might be wrong, but look at this. Yeah, look how this thing is sitting. Sheesh. That is nasty. Ooh. Oh, wow, boy. Oh, my God. This thing is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the inside. She is gorgeous yep 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 yeah and then the trunk is still with the whole trunk yeah so we got some used i guess this is used car section they got uh we got a Cadillac over here. They got this guy. This guy is beautiful too, man. Look at this red interior. Oh my God. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry guys, we're outside. It was chilly out there, so trying to warm up. Sheesh. Look at this. So we here, man, to view that and view the release of the electric. Electra. I'm over here. I figured we'd get a few things that they have on the floor. They got some heat at this place, man. Just heard someone got some financing over there. Uh, this thing is so beautiful, bro. I love this. This coop is nasty. Grand Turismo, man. Twin Turbo V6. Good Lord. I don't think I've ever seen this car. Sheesh, tell me what you think, man. Leave a comment in the bottom if y'all really like this one, because I really like this one. For real. For real. Look at the stands. This thing is on the floor, bro. Sheesh. Like I said, man, uh, so they laid it out for us. They literally, it was open up to up to 30 people. I think about 26 people signed up to show up. For the release, uh, 
they brought food out. Um, they opened up the um, whole floor for us so we can walk around freely. Um, there's no concern about filming. Um, it's an excellent event. Um, Let's go look at what the, the videos they got over here. Got some pizza. Oh, Lord, cheesecake with creme brulee cheesecakes. And oh, we might have to get at some of this. What's this? Many sandwiches, sliders. It's a pretty decent layout, guys. So. Give me a second. Let me let you guys go and check out this thing and what it looks like. See this reveal. Yeah. So here we got out here with us, man. Well, who invited us? See, fish, of course, is always in the mix of everything. Excited. Electra. I think you guys might enjoy this. Pretty cool deal. 30 of us invited out to do this. This powder number is crazy. Hey, What's right going there. on, brother? I know who that is. Yes, sir. How's it going, people? 455. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out. My name is Dominic. I'm the general manager here. Uh, thank you guys. Obviously, we're super, super stoked and excited for the uh, for the new Lotus Electra. Uh, I think you guys will see for yourself why this is going to be the best SUV that's uh, electric and just come to the market. So I'm going to let Dimitri, our uh, Lotus product specialist, take it from here and kind of go through some features of the car. But uh, please enjoy. Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping in. Dom, you want to yeah. help me pull us off? Everyone's here ready. we go, guys. Here we go. Three. Oh, my Ooh, God. Oh. So this is one of the new colors featured by Lotus. This is Blossom Gray. What is it? Uh, Blossom, Blossom Gray. gray. Yeah, if you move around, uh, depending on how the sunlight's hitting it, whether it's in the gas spot, it, it does change the hue of the color. What the man is doing? This model specifically that we have, this is the yes. Uh, so here. Um, a little over 900 horsepower. I got the chance to drive this for the first time about three weeks ago, and everything about this car absolutely has blown me away. I've had the chance to drive a lot of cars before they've come out. I don't think I've ever come back from a training session uh, more excited about this. So, like I said, we have the Blossom Gray. Stands on the Electra, you'll get carbon fiber down here, and one part in the back is long. Extended carbon fiber package. It puts it on the whole front part of the grill. You have beer caps along the wheel uh, well here, and the side skirts as well. Uh, they'll be featured in carbon fiber. Down here, perfect. It's open. You have uh, an active splitter. This one actually is opening closed, depending on the drive mode. Uh, they can drive it in. Everything is all about aerodynamics. You have airflow through the the inside is open as well. You guys want to take a look. We'll start. We'll go more. Get back. There you go. On, uh, uh, they didn't do the buckets. Uh, oh, I know. If anyone has any questions, oh, wow. anything about the vehicle, you'll have a handful of us around here. Other than that, guys, everyone take a look and enjoy the beauty. Thank you. This thing is gorgeous. So the roof. Is it? I, I'll show you how to come in. I'll show you how the. How the yeah, absolutely. So, Sit back here. Put the key right there. All right, so we'll close the door. We got to get activated. Everything. Well, that one. Um, no, you can uh, you can leave that one open. All right. So when we're at the home screen here, yeah, it's a simple touch of of touching the button. Um, now you can control pretty much all your uh, your features from here. So if we go to the roof, you can see now 
the transparency roof you can't it, it, it is covered oh wow if i just slide this right over here oh then you can see through oh it's my here. god that is pretty cool goes this way here wow another one of my guys y'all gotta see this crazy another one of my favorite features is hey lotus you have to close the door yeah go ahead hey lotus what would you like to do next oh my open my window see it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, opening the front left window. Oh my God! That's nuts. So you have you have speakers integrated to each uh, each seat, each passenger seat. Um, that will actually recognize where the voice command is coming from. That is the uh, And in essence, we'll open your window, do whatever really you want with it. Uh, kind of come into the back over here. If we click again, um, you have the rear spoiler with three different. I don't want to hit this gentleman. Let him move. But you have three different spoiler heights, so I'm going to put it to the oh, highest wow. level. Look at that. <laughs> up here. You, have level, you have a level in between, and then to fully close it, wow. it's just down like that. That, that is bananas. Is hey, Dimitri. Yes. Kick on the stereo for these guys. Perfect. Oh, oh man. man. I mean, crank it, crank it up. Oh, these guys Wait, I can't do it. I got to cut the video copyright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get in trouble with that one. Yeah, but uh, uh I, turn the stereo on, guys, and I'll get back with you in a second. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit it out. I don't oh, need to work. Right. This thing is nuts. Oh my god, this it's is so cool. Right? You should see the screen in the back. Oh, I see. I'm so gonna you get can that. fully control. You can even move. You can lock it up here, but you can even move these seats front and back if you. What? Like. From the back? From the rear? From the rear. Uh, I guess they're gonna be experts. All touch screen. Everything's all touch screen. All touch screen. We're supposed to ask. I got to do a real one, this too. It's crazy. This nuts. We were under the touch. I like that. I like how you can be on that. That's the desk. I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, the cap surround sound system. The cap is a new company. They actually won the sound system in the world last year. Really? Yeah, they're, they're, doing a, they're doing great jobs. Screen in front of you. This will show me all my things like my drive modes. So you have track, sport, individual, tour, range, extend your driving range, and then off-road mode. And then on this paddle shift over here, that controls my Regency braking. So I have three levels of Regency braking. Uh, the one... One pedal driving when you let go, it'll start breaking for you without actually hitting it. Wireless charge pad here. Um, some other things, you know, you have you have actual key fob and then you have the card key as well. Uh, to start the car with the card, all you gotta do is just place it here. Once everything's going, just take the card, put it in your pocket, put it on, uh, put it in the cup holder, really wherever wherever you'd like it to be. Uh, what all information is displayed on that side screen, the passenger screen? Uh, so this is. This is still a pre-production model, so you can't customize it. But when the actual production cars come on, you'll be able to customize the screen. So you can do things like right now it's displaying what song is playing. But you'll be able to do other things like put the, uh, you know, the time, the temperature, nice. the range of the car, a uh, few different things. Um, you know, turn-by-turn -turn signals and stuff like that when navigation is, is set up. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, um, you have the ambient lighting. Obviously, you can see here. You have the orange. We back yes. down. He's just explaining the car. This yeah. is great. And this is uh, this one in particular, being that it's the R model. It's going to be fully loaded. Well, fully loaded, loaded with optional options. But this has the carbon fiber interior, so you'll have carbon fiber here yes. in the center. Yeah. Trim it. You'll have the door panels. Yeah, as well. I see it. Uh, you do have the Alcantara suede headliner. As oh, well. that's crazy. It's here. Um, and then there are a few different designer specs of the um, of, of how the interior comes. So, it, you know, Lotus has put together about six or seven different interior trim packages that you know, like this is exactly yeah. So this one's got the nice you know red with a uh, with a with a black you know two tone interior with a contrast stitching. This is so nice. Uh, it, it's really nice. I mean, they go as far as to matching you know the the, the color of the buttons over here yeah, see that. to the interior. So if you have uh, if yeah, you have more of like a tannish, Man, yeah, you'll have more. Actually, guys, you could actually feel yeah feeling. Oh yeah, it's on the uh, window the like the window buttons yeah, as well. Crazy. Exactly, exactly. And if you have like one of the tan interiors or 
maybe the green interior, the shade, the shade of these buttons and and such. Those will those will all change. So they'll be tinted, maybe a little bit more goldish or bronze or something along those lines. So they did a phenomenal job from A to Z on this. Okay, car. break our hearts. How much? Uh, so the, the R model, the R model they're, still, they're still finalizing full pricing. The okay. R model um, is is projected to be slate to start in the. Yes mid 140 to 150 range no, that's not, not bad, bad at all. for the performance getting that's 900 and you know 900 plus that's actually power. really really good yeah, yeah it's it's uh, it's that's amazing thing for I your can feel the seats right now and you know butt. oh yeah and, and, that's cool though and i'm all about build quality you know right I, here i i always anytime i sit in a new car for the first time i always like to move my legs <laughs> to see if i hear any kind of creaking right right, right same right, here right, right, same right. here nothing i've i've pulled and tugged and pushed on everything in here i mean this this is it, the quality is is phenomenal there there's not one thing about this suv that i love was done, color, oh was done you know cheaply or anything like that what it's is beautiful what is your favorite feature of the car so far my favorite feature uh i do love being able to tell it to lower my window i i don't that's something about that just is, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy i love that um i'll be honest i got to drive this uh i was in utah three weeks ago with lotus training i got to drive it and i took it pretty pretty fast I mean, yeah we'll leave it at that yeah um felt like i was moving on clouds oh my god felt like that's I was awesome on clouds. we then they had you know we had a um kind of like an uh, uh like a little like course set up with cones you know sharp turns right. um you know quick braking and stuff like that that we did with lotus uh and we tried it in all the drive modes anywhere from you know the track mode to the uh to the um uh, off-road mode and yeah, so even in the off-road mode you know when i'm making when i was making these sharp turns at no time did I feel like I was going to tip or I was not going to make So it feels know, really, really planted. Yeah, there was, there was no awesome. oversteer. There was no understeer. I mean, the car, it, the SUV went where you told it That's to That's so cool, man. It went where you told it to go. I love that. Um, and, you know, it's it's different. I feel like a lot of a lot of electric cars nowadays, you know, it, it, I, I feel like other manufacturers, when they get an electric car, they try to make it, you know, too unique to where it becomes like it's like sticking out like yeah. a, it's sticking out like a sword thumb. <laughs> they, I mean, here you have a perfectly sized screen. It's yeah. not too big, not too small. That's really nice. Um, not, there's not a million different buttons or stuff that you Very have to, do simple. to navigate it. Everything is going to be you know you just twist the car, you kind of click the spot you're looking for. You know, I, I open the charge the charging port over here. I can lock the car. That I can so do the cool. roof. I can uh, open the trunk. I can raise the spoiler. I mean, it, it's got it's got everything is very simplistic but there's a ton of things that you can do um that this is also very impressive the screen back here yeah. and your ability to control functions like uh you know the seating position yeah. the the uh the, the airflow the volume all that good stuff it, it's it's they did a phenomenal job i, I can't this say nasty i it like is. it truly this is really nice like i you can't they did a great job yeah, with this. Yeah, they did. They did. Well, you guys take a look around. I'm going to let someone else hop in. So awesome, yeah, man, awesome. No problem. If you guys have any questions, we'll be around. No right. problem. How do you get out of this thing? Oh, hit that button. Okay. That's nuts. Guys, I got to actually look at the screen in the back. This is great. Look at the screen right here. This car is absolutely beautiful. This thing bad, guys. Give me a second. Young Shy Beats.
Look how that sun kissing it. Look how that sun kissing it. Sheesh. Y'all know we don't do the abnormal around here, bro. Ah. Why is that, man? We were designed from greatness. Guys, because we're designed from greatness. Guys, you have the right, the responsibility to never, ever, ever be average. So, guys, 